Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening up the newest releases to Pokemon TCG Champions Path. Um, and so there's going to be like a couple of little videos um, coming out to you guys. The first one of which is going to be the Marini. And I went for the premium collection box, not knowing what came in it. But yeah, it was a little bit more expensive. Um, but I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to get it. So I'm quickly going to turn this one around. Excuse the backgrounds. As I said before, um, Chaos Jeff is at university, so he's invaded my filming space. Um, and as you can see as well, we haven't got a play mat out yet, and that is for a very good reason. So let's crack into this and I will show you guys these promos. So the promos are the same in both the premium and the super I think it is collection box. Um, so we have the Grimm's Gnarl V and the Morpeko V. Now you do get the Morpeko with a hangry, I'm going to call it, very cute looking more Peco pin in the other collection box, but one which is exclusively to the premium collection box is the Grimm's Gnarl pin bash there. And the other thing exclusive to the premium collection box is this playmat, which I'm going to try and shuffle some things around in a minute. Right then, let's put that one there and I will quickly show you guys this one. Um, so in the other collection box, this is um, just like a cardboard, a uh, paper one even. So we've got this really cool play mat, which I think we will go ahead and use for today. So let's put that one back there. Sorry guys, I've got to do a bit of moving around. I've got loads of bulk, which I really do need to sort out. Then this comes with eight packs. And there is the code card for this collection box. So without further ado, let's crack into these eight packs and let's see what we can pull. So I did pre-order these. Um, um, they did take a couple of extra days than what I expected to come. So I didn't receive them until the Monday after release, but that was no problem because uh, I was working nights to be fair anyway. So Kakuna, Weedle, Pokeball, Reverse Holographic Team Yell Grant, and a Holographic Professor's Research. So we're slowly getting through these and um, actually we're filling up quite a few gaps in our binders as well, which is always cool and is always the aim of uh, collecting anyway. We are on the hunt for that shiny Charizard V. Um, still can't believe we got the Rainbow Rare though, so I'm still super happy about that one. Weedle, oh back to back Weedles, there's the reverse holographic. And the holographic goes to a Hatterene. I may well at a later date, if I can find any, um, see if I can get hold of um, the super collection, like pin box of these as well. Just for a little bit of comparison, really, see what the pull rates are like. Full Heel, Trubbish, Galarian Zigzagoon, Inke. Pokeball, Reverse Holographic Rare Machamp. Hey, and our first Ultra Rare pull going to an Incineroar V. I think we pulled that in the last box, but nevertheless, this Ultra Rare pulls, I'm going to take them. These packs seem to be a little bit thinner this time as well. They seem to be disintegrating a bit more. If you do claim any of those code card guys, please do let me know what you pull, especially if you've got any of those Charizards. Um, out of those codes, that'd be awesome. Pokeball, Kakuna, Swablu, Reverse Holographic Galarian Linoon, and a Holographic Lycanroc. 
just over halfway through on these packs now. Hopefully we get another ultra rare, that'll be quite nice. Suspicious Footin, Leopards, Hyper Potion, Rolly Folly, Inke, Nickit, Hatiena, Sizzle Peas, Reverse Holographic Galarian Linoon, and a Holographic Scrafty. So we actually had in those packs, back to back, Reverse Holographics. What are the chances of that in? Ooh, don't get stuck. There's another co-card for you guys. Kaboo, Sonia, Victini, Galarian Linu, Pokeball, Scraggy, Purloin, Silpede, Reverse Holographic Rotom Phone, and we've got a Lucario V which again, pulled this one before, but it doesn't matter. It's ultra rare and I will take it. There's still a few, like a uh, Whale Lord, um, Drab Norvi, like that we actually need, um, need the octopus, which I can't think of what his name is at the moment. Still need those in the normal V forms as well, um, let alone the, holo the holographics, the full arts even. So, Sharpedo, BD, Machop, Nickit, Galarian Linoon, Potion, Trubbish, Reverse Holographic Rotom Bike. Hey, there we go. Dreadnought VMAX Full Arts. Now, these ones are textured as well, which is really cool. And we definitely needed that one for the collection. So, hey, even better. Last pack, guys. Let's see if we can get a last pack of magic. If not, in all honesty, I am pretty happy with the pulls we've got. And it's just really nice seeing some of these uh, artworks which we haven't been able to pull yet. So, plus we're opening up Champion's Path, which is so hard to come by anyway. So that's why I definitely went for this playmat version. Once I found out it was a playmat, then I was even more happier, to be fair. Um, because I'm sure this is bound to go up in price. Anyway, I'm going to go quickly back over our ultra rare pools. I'm not going to go back over the holographics because we've seen them so many times. So our promos again was the lovely little Morpeko V and the Grimmsnarl V. And then our ultra rare pools are Lucario V, Incineroar V and that full art Dreadnought V Max. The only thing I would say about this was I would have really liked a V promo of Hangry Morpeko, which I think would have been absolutely awesome as like an alternative art. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed opening up these and stay tuned for some more Champions Path, any of the latest releases. Um, I've got them all on pre-order, so we should get them really soon, hopefully. As always, guys, stay safe, have fun, carry on gaming, and I'll catch you next time.